I'm at home today. And, um, yeah, I apologize for being so... Hi, Paul. Hi, Paul. This is Dad. It's about 2 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. Just calling to see how things are going. And uh, give me a buzz when you can. Bye-bye. Hey, Paul, it's Aaron from down here in Maryland. Um, that girl's mattress room you borrowed, her address is 5110 Hagerstown Hall. I think you know the rest. College Park, Maryland, 20742. That's uh, Aaron Kravitz, E-R-I-N-N-K-R-A-V-I-T-Z. -N -N yeah, and if you get a, I don't know if you have a, the guy Dave Everett, what's his name? number the guy I wrestled with uh if you could you know send that down somehow or some way or another that'd be great thanks see you later hi paul this is dad it's uh, almost noon on sunday i'm calling just to see how things are going uh, you're surviving in red hook and uh so give me a buzz anytime you can bye bye It's uh, 12.25, I guess, just a few minutes after you called me. I'm uh, actually in Manhattan, but I'm coming back out to Brooklyn right now. I'm getting on a train, so if you get this message, um, I'll call you when I get back home. I haven't eaten yet, so if you want to grab brunch, and, uh, you know, if you, if you do, actually, it's on me, because uh, I, you know, feel badly about the other, you know, the situation with your check and everything. So, uh, anyway, brunch is on me, if uh, you're still interested, and... Um, I'll give you a call as soon as I get home. It's, again, 1225, and I'll see you soon. Bye. Paul Lee. Hey, uh, I'm back. It's 1 o'clock, and uh, I'm going to, I'll be around for a few minutes. Uh, if I haven't heard from you in, you know, 15 minutes or so, then I'm going to go out and get brunch myself. So, um, anyway, give me a call if you, if you get in. Otherwise, I'll catch up to you later. Bye. Paul, this is Ann Massey. It's Sunday evening at like 9.45. Um, I hope I'm not waking you up by leaving this. Um, I just wanted to make sure you've gotten to everybody um, in terms of getting this stuff to us because I've heard back from very few people. Um, so if you can just give me a buzz at some point in my mail. If you want, you can ring me back for like the next half hour or so. Um, otherwise, give me a buzz tomorrow. And otherwise, I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye. Hey, Paul. This is Barbara from Regina Opera. Hello, hello. Um, sorry I missed you uh, yesterday. Um, no, that was Saturday. Today's Monday the 21st. It's uh, just 10 after 9. No, 10 after 12. I'll get it. Um, this Tuesday, tomorrow night, 7.30, and then again Saturday, 3 o'clock. Two very, very important rehearsals for you to be at, please. Um, my number is 718-961-1727. I'll be home after 6.30 tonight, or you can leave a message on my machine letting me know that you did get this message, and I'll see you tomorrow night. Thank you. Bye. Hi, Paul. Um, I'm just calling... Um you're probably not home. It's early evening. Um, the reason I'm calling is that um, I wanted to tell you about this whole clay connection. Remember when you and Susie and I did our clay thing about three years ago? Um, somehow it was important for me to let you know that um, that, that goes on and sort of keeps branching out. And God knows, you need not call me back about it, but that's what I called about. Let's see, uh, Paul, this is John. You say that you don't have time to speak with me right now, but you do have time to play this extended um, remix of some, some crazy Middle Eastern song. Um, what's up with that, pal? Hey, anyway, um, I... Uh, got another 9X bill and was wondering if you could uh, maybe give them a call and change it over to your name. I'm going to send this bill over to you, and uh, if you don't mind just paying it. 
Also, if you could pass along a message to Mark, or if you don't mind doing this yourself, um, I may have some stuff that's there, bills or other mail that's come in that hasn't been forwarded to me. If you could just send it to me. Um, my address is 3359 Rowena, R-O-W-E-N-A, Avenue, Apartment 12, Los Angeles, California, 90027. And my phone number is 213-663-9953. So uh, feel free to give me a call anytime. And hope you're doing well. Uh, and uh, talk to you soon. Take care. Hi, Paul. This is Alice. Um, it was good to talk to you today. And I um, put together the agreement between us, and then I realized that it was becoming an ex a legal document. So I needed to uh, take it up to the our personnel person. And uh, she was just, it was 5 o'clock by then, and so she was leaving. So um, she and I will talk about it tomorrow, and I'll get back to you on that. But, I mean, we're going forward with just the wording of it or something like that. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. Hi, Paul, it's Brenda. Why don't we meet tomorrow at the CV bookstore at about 6. That works for you. Um, I'll see you there at that point then. Bye-bye. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. Hi, this is Dimitri. My new telephone number is 718-274-2372. I haven't seen a long time, and I haven't spoken with you a long, long time. Nothing, nothing. Just I want to say hi. I want to see how are you, what's going on, what's new, and that's it. Give me a call if you have a chance, and I hope so, that we'll have a chance to see, you, see each other as soon as possible. Okay, have a good night. Bye. I hope I have the right number. This is for Kirsten Andrew. Hi, this is Anthony with direct press. Phone number is area code 212-741-8300. That's 212-741-8300. Where the people do the catalogs, brochures, direct mail pieces, etc. Thank you. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. Hi, Paul. Beth Punzi calling on Thursday about noon. Um, to talk to you about the weekend. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be in Brooklyn on Sunday. I'm going to be going to meeting. So I was wondering if you were going to be around around 1 o'clock or sometime thereafter, sometime between 1 and 4. So um, I'll give you a call uh, later, but I just wanted to um, leave this message to see if you could look at your calendar and see if you were free. 
I hope everything's going well. Hey, Paul. This is Rudyard calling. How are you? Um, fine, I hope. I like the music on your answering machine. Uh, where's it from? I, I sent you an email message not too long ago, maybe 10 days or two weeks ago, and uh, it bounced back, so I figured that you weren't at your old place anymore. Um, glad to know that you're uh, with AmeriCorps, and uh, I want to hear more about that. Concerning your uh, inquiry about CPR, I have no idea what those, you know, who those people are or were. I do remember that it was a 718 number. Um, my recommendation would be for you to either call Ben. That would be my uh, probably first choice. Uh, and have Ben call Mindy, who I think went through that CPR training, Mindy Barham. Um, and she, I think she went through it and probably still has a card or something with that company's name. Um, and if Ben doesn't want to call her and if you feel like calling her, then go ahead uh, at your own risk. Um, I don't remember her number, but I'm sure you can get it somehow. Uh, I'm assuming that she's still with I Have a Dream. Uh, if not her, then anyone who was a core member while I was there. All right, so uh, that's the best I can do, Paul. And uh, take it easy and uh, let me hear from you soon. All right, the address here is 203 River Street, number 9, Iowa City, Iowa, 52246. Take it easy, Paul. Bye. Hi, Paul. It's uh, Friday morning, uh, about 9.30. I'm just calling uh, to let you know that I'm going to Tom's this weekend, only for tomorrow night. But if you should want to use the apartment, um, you know, like stay in Manhattan or get away from everybody, um, you're welcome to. Um, I'm just going out to visit. haven't been out for a while. Um, gave your numbers to Steve Morris, and uh, that's about it. So um, talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, Paul, it's Aaron from down in Maryland again. Um, remember last week when you called me up and you gave me Dave's number? I guess I wasn't really, uh, really awake yet because I, I don't know what I did with that number, or maybe I didn't even write it down. So if it was at all convenient for you in some form, way, shape, or another, if you could uh, give me his number again, that'd be that'd be great. So I hope that you're doing well up there, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Uh, have dinner, and hopes to see us around the weekend of November 15th. So, uh, that's the story. No bill, no dinner, nothing. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, Hang up and then dial your operator. If you'd like to make a call, please hang up and try again. If you need help, hang up and then dial your operator. Oh, hi, Paul. This is you. Uh, I almost forgot to speak then. Just uh, calling to find out if uh, you're surviving your rigorous new assignment and um, nothing really too much on the horizon I'm afraid we are doing something on Sunday morning which I have a very strong feeling you would find fairly repulsive we're going to watch uh, a game of football uh, not even live but on satellite uh, from Britain in a pub about 10 or 11 in the morning 
it's surrounded by um, other British people, no doubt. Um, so, apart from that, um, there are one or two things, but um, I shall speak to you soon, I hope. So, uh, it's Friday now, about the middle of the afternoon. So, I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Paul, hey, it's Lance. I got your message. I just wrote um, on your... Um, so I forwarded your check, but um, I just wrote on there, please forward to... Uh, I'm leaving a message for somebody. I'll be off in a second. Okay. Um, I just wrote on there, please forward to, uh, you know, your address, because I'd assumed that you went to the post office and did one of those one of those things, and you didn't come get the other one for a couple of weeks, so it didn't seem to be a, an issue. So I just wrote on there for the post office, please forward this address to... Uh, please forward. Um, and this was, you know, right after it came. So... Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what to tell you other than if they if you didn't leave a forwarding address with the post office, then it would have gone back to the uh, the the company that issued it. Um, that's it. You know, you can call me at work if you need to. I'm going to be leaving shortly, but it's two one two. My direct line is two one two nine seven nine seven six eight three. I will be in and out over the weekend, and I'll be in at that number on Monday morning. So I hope. Um, that gets cleared up, um, and that you, I would go back to your office and see if you can find it. That they probably have it if it didn't, if there was no forwarding address on uh, that you left at the post office. So anyway, thanks, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.